A master plan is the key document on what cities are built. Unfortunately, IT City Bangalore has no such document in place. The last master plan 2015 has crossed its expiry date, but the BDA or the Bangalore Metropolitan Planning Committee are showing no urgency in getting this ready. Citizen groups are also questioning the process involved in creating Bangalore's master plan and what it will entail. Stacey Pereira with more details. For a city growing at an exponential rate, Bangalore has a lot to be worried about. A year has gone by and the Bangalore Development Authority has still not readied the revised Master Plan 2031, a document that will govern the developments for the city's future. Even worse, the Metropolitan Planning Committee, the agency in charge of formulating this document, has met only twice since its formulation two years ago. Governments throughout the country are reluctant to put master plan processes in the public domain because governments have historically preferred to control land for their own purposes. Typically ministers and MLAs in the government prefer, have preferred to control that. BDA will not allow its contractors to follow the process because following the process will result in outcomes that are not favored in government. So that is the real issue. Ultimately, as long as we see this as a contest to control land, you are not going to be able to do things correctly. You have to see this as an effort to make the city better and work from that perspective. The Bangalore Development Authority has roped in a private consulting firm to draw up a vision document for the city. Citizen groups and activists are now up in arms as there was no public consultation held and even the Metropolitan Planning Committee members were called for a meeting with barely 24 hours notice. Given its significance, they insist that the vision document be brought in the public domain as this is likely to form the basis of the revised Master Plan 2031. So it's important today that the government wakes up and realizes that the citizens are the masters, masters of the country, right? They have the right to question the government on how they govern the city and citizens have rights and governments have responsibility. So I do hope the government does not mess up the BDA acts responsibility in the, in the master planning exercise. So why has such an important task found no priority within the government? Well, it's at a stage where very uh, uh, basic work has been done about the projections of the population in 2031, which is the time frame for this master plan, what will be the population, what kind of uh, growth are we envisaging, what are the options available for various options, what are the kind of approaches that we need to follow. This is not the final master plan. That will happen now once we decide on what approach we want to adopt for future development of Bangalore. Once that is decided, then the consultants will work on the actual uh, details of the land use and so on. At which point, again, there will be another round of consultation. Right. So, it will so. be done. There is nothing secret secretive or uh, this thing about it. It's being done in a very, very open and transparent manner. Bangalore's population is likely to cross two crores by 2031. With such rapid growth, the concerned authorities should have a foolproof plan in place. Political will and active citizens' participation can ensure that Bangalore's revised master plan 2031 doesn't remain a mere wish list. In Bangalore with camera person Alphonse, Stacey Pereira for NDTV.